Hello everybody, if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Chris from CG6 Entertainment, welcome to this channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a secondary dominant chord that resolves or wants to tonicize to the Neapolitan chord. So in this first part, we're going to talk about the secondary dominant chord. In this first part of the video, we're going to talk about a secondary dominant chord that wants to tonicize to the Neapolitan chord. So there's a Roman numeral that it's going to be labeled, which it is a secondary chord or secondary dominant chord, which it wants to resolve to the Neapolitan chord, which it is the 5-7 of the Neapolitan. So it is an N symbol, which N stands for Neapolitan. First of all, before we do this, let's take a look on the secondary dominant chords. Let's take a review about this. So make sure you Take a pause of this video and take a screenshot of this video so you can keep it into your pocket and not to forget about it so you don't have to take the notes and spend way too much time. Here is the secondary dominant chords in a major key. So these are all secondary chords in a major key. And here are the secondary dominant chords in a minor key. Notice the difference. Since you took a look on those secondary dominant chords, hopefully I will make a video talking about the secondary dominant chords. Apparently, the 5-7 of Neapolitan chord got my attention to make this video because I don't think some people have talked about it, so I wanted to cover this video and we can work together step by step on how do you make a secondary dominant chord that wants to go to the Neapolitan? Alright, so let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the secondary dominant chords in all keys, all the secondary dominant chords that are listed in a major key. Let's go ahead and focus on the secondary dominant chord of the 5 7 of 2 chord. So the 5 7 of 2 chord in the key of C is an A7 chord or A dominant 7 which it is a secondary dominant that wants to resolve to a minor 2 chord. If we decided to make it to a 5-7 of Neapolitan chord, we can flat the 5-7 of 2, or flat the A7 chord, or just going one half step down, which it becomes an A flat 7 chord in the key of C. So, since we have an A flat 7 chord in the key of C, which is, does not belong in a diatonic key, then it would be pretty much a chromatic. The 5-7 of Neapolitan chord, or 5-7 of N, is known as A-flat-7. However, if the A-flat-7 decides to go to a 5 chord, or the 1-6-4 chord, it may be spelled as a German 6 chord, but it is spelled differently because the 7th note is not going to be the same. It will be spelled as A-flat-C, E flat and F sharp, which is considered an augmented six. But just to note that the 5 7 of Neapolitan chord will vary on what key you're currently in besides in the key of C, but pretty much I will show you how it spells like in a few different keys, including the minor key at the end of the video. But pretty much you can use the 5 7 of Neapolitan chord in the minor key as well. So you're more than welcome to do that. So now, I'm going to show you in part writing, which there are ways to use the 5-7 of Neapolitan chord. So we're going to stay in the key of C major by now. So I'm going to show you the first part of the demonstration. So here it goes. Here is the first part demonstration that I'm showing you with the root position, which is 5-7 of Neapolitan going to the root position Neapolitan chord. And here's the sound of it. Secondly, here is another part where there is a first inverted secondary dominant tonicizing to the Neapolitan in root position. Here's the sound of it. Last one, here is another demonstration which is the secondary chord is in third inversion and wants to resolve to the first inversion Neapolitan chord, which is called a Neapolitan 6. 
Here's the sound of it. So, did you guys get it? Did you guys get everything just to making sure no one gets confused? Alright, so let's go ahead and move on. Alright, so the final part is that I'm going to demonstrate you how it spells like in a different key. So, let me show you a 5-7 Neapolitan in the key of A major. Here's a 5-7 of Neapolitan in the key of F major. Here's a 5-7 of Neapolitan in the key of E minor. Last one, here is the 5-7 of Neapolitan in the key of B flat minor. So I guess this video is concluded. So if you guys have any questions or any help, I will probably help you in the comment sections and I'll try my best to respond and try to find a way to answer with all the questions that you guys have given me and I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day.